Hello, I'm continuing my reviews on the Creature from the Black Lagoon movies with The Creature Walks Among Us, which is the third film in the Creature from the Black Lagoon series. Now, this was released in 1956, and this one, I believe, is held as being the worst of the three Creature from the Black Lagoon movies, but to be honest, I actually enjoyed this one quite a bit, but I'll get to that in a second. Now, I have The Creature Walks Among Us on the Creature from the Black Lagoon Legacy Collection. Now, the plot of The Creature Walks Among Us is it's set some time after the events of Revenge of the Creature and it follows a group of scientists who are looking for the Gill Man so they can run experiments on it, and eventually they encounter the Gill Man, and the Gill Man attacks them, and one thing leads to another, and the Gill Man ends up getting lit on fire. So, after it gets severely burned, they take it onto their boat, and what ends up happening is... The gills burn off, and the gill man actually starts to mutate, and it becomes actually more human-like. So, now since this creature has become a lot more human-like, it can no longer go in the water, otherwise it would drown. So these scientists, they take it to this private facility outside of San Francisco, and they're noticing that the creature is a lot less violent now, and a lot of them think it's because it's becoming more human-like. But this one scientist in particular, he actually believes it's because they've treated it right. Like, this one scientist, he believes that the only reason the creature ever attacked people was because it felt threatened, but now that it doesn't feel like humans are a threat, it's not attacking anybody. So, the movie kind of gets into the whole nature versus nurture debate, and it goes into, is the creature, like, not violent now because it's becoming more human, or is it just because they've treated it right? Now, I really enjoyed The Creature Walks Among Us. I thought, I actually thought this was really good. Now, I can't say I liked it as much as the first two movies, but I still thought this was a really good movie. And what I kind of liked about this movie is, this one seems to be slightly more mature than the first two movies were. And I think that's part of the reason why some people didn't like this as much as the first two movies. Because the first two movies, were very much just fun B-movies. This one actually gets into more philosophical stuff and shit like that, so I, I kind of feel like this one, it's slightly more mature than the first two movies were, and a lot of the movie actually focuses on this one scientist in particular, him and his wife, and you realize that they don't have the best relationship with each other, and you realize it's because this scientist is very controlling of his wife, and he's also kind of paranoid, and every time she talks to another man, he just assumes that she's being unfaithful to him. So you realize he's kind of a douchebag, and he ends up becoming... He really ends up becoming the human villain of the movie, because he does do something bad at the end of this movie, but I don't want to give away what it is. But what I really liked about this movie is, in the movie The Creature or The Gill Man... He really isn't the villain of the movie. Really, the real villain of the movie is this scientist who's also very controlling of his wife. And I liked a lot of the philosophical dialogue that's in this movie. Like, there's a lot of discussions in this movie between the scientists about mankind's place in the universe and how different is man from the creature. But yeah, I enjoyed The Creature Walks Among Us. I thought it was a pretty fitting end to this trilogy, so I personally would recommend it if you haven't seen it already, and bye.